Well, hello. We're near water, I think we are. Yeah. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 with the massive uh, farm that we've got going. So in the last video, we pretty much prepared the farm, getting the machines ready for action. So I'm going to show you. It's been a few days since we've done it, so we'll let that fill up. Um, that's the water. So that's strawberries. That's wheat and straw, which goes into no, not being straw, strong grass, which go into there. Cherries, apples, onions, chilies, cucumbers, olives, which are slowly growing back up. So I've got all the trucks. I thought I was only going to use like one truck to deliver them all, but I thought you know that's going to take ages going between back and forth between all of the different factories and it wasn't going to be worth it so I thought it'd be easier just to uh, um, that was actually right into the depot which looked a bit weird um, it wasn't going to be worth it really so as you can see I've got these are all working away I've got all the productions in there, so we've got the cherries, sugar, water, plums, I don't know, plums, potatoes and grapes. So that's working away, as you can see. Uh, these can probably actually get emptied. Oh, oh yeah, there's a gap between them. Uh, I'm going to take these down. So the vodka one's no full. Doesn't matter. We'll take it down anyway, and I'll show you. I think it, I think I actually emptied this one no long ago. That's why it's <laughs> full. No, it's the olives we took down. Vodka's not accepted here. All oh, right, that's alcohol. Alcohol doesn't go there. It goes over here. I think I think there's a different thing for the alcohol which I can't find yet. I don't think I've placed it down. This shop's no one. It doesn't take it anyway. Um I'm gonna do should be a uh, placeable for alcohol. Which I've not actually put down yet. Point of sale for alcohol. Let's go place it. Here. Next to the shops. And we'll take it back over. We'll sell the vodka. We'll get some money. Because we need a whole lot of machines. So we'll get some money for that, not a massive amount. And it gets sold right away. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to put this back. Oh, stuck on the wall. It's a little bit glitchy at the moment because I've got that many things about here. Just wait till I've got all the harvesters moving at the same time. That'll be um, I'm still waiting for that to produce. It's not producing anything yet. Where's this going? Oh, down here. So as you can see, I've colour coded them. So the whites are the juice. And I've made, managed to make them into separate colours, but they're similar. It's sort of pinkish, reddish colour. That's for olives. Then you've got the blue for yogurt. Black for the tinned. The milk one's not picking up for some reason. And sugar just takes a normal trailer, so they don't take these big ones. 
and down here you've got the green for bread which I, th I think I still need to pick, put something in there for it was I need done here uh, we need salt sugar and water we can do that we'll do that in this episode and we'll get some bread getting made and down here you can see that the yellow ones are for alcohol right so we need salt sugar and water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one this is like the one that once I've emptied it with sugar beet we'll take the, sh the sugar over to the bread and then we'll pick up salt take that over and then put this back in there to pick up more sugar beet Uh, who's my corn? And let's just see how that's getting on. Hold on. Yeah, he's he's got a long way to go. Two, three, one. There's a pig's fine. What is that there? I just remember it's after the vodka one. <laughs> I tried to keep them in an order, but for some reason when I bought this one, it split the, the, the vodka trailers up, so it doesn't matter. Right, so we're taking it in here to pick up some sugar, well, we're dropping the sugar beet off in the sugar factory, that'll turn that into sugar. We'll be picking the sugar up, taking it over to the bread, drop that off, pick up salt, take that in, and then... Um, pick up the water trailer and bring that over so we'll miss this one because I think it's every hour they produce so as you can see we're just coming up for 12 For some reason we've massively overshot that corner doesn't matter once I've vented it it should be fine Right, so that's the end it. We'll come round. So I don't know how to pick up the milk in that, because the shop takes it, but I don't know how to pick it up yet. Unless I've not got the trailer, I can pick it up. I don't know. So we'll pick all the sugar. Some fantasies load faster than others. It just depends. Let's have a look at that one. We'll take it round here. And the next one. I'm surprised that's not made it yet. I filled it up earlier, so it should be making something. I'll go round and see if it's missing anything. Or maybe it just takes a while for it to actually produce. So we'll drop the sugar in. Now it just needs salt, which we can pick up. See what it says when we come round here. Um, water, hot, and barley. So it's got the materials. It's just not making it yet. I don't know why. We'll give it time. Uh, so over there. So we'll pick up the salt. We'll drop that in. How's that getting on? Uh, it's got plenty of everything that's just building itself up. Cool. So we'll drop this around the back and then we'll go and get some water. Almost there. Right, we're going to put this back under the sugar beet. Now I'm going to get the water trailer. 
which is right over there. While I'm down here, I'm going to pick up some eggs. Because I've not picked them up lately. They're always at the same bit, so you don't need to walk about looking for them. It's quite handy. So, um, I was going to say, a lot of people will probably wonder why I've not went to Farm and Sim 17. I do have it, as you've pr I probably, I think I've posted a video of it. So I do have Farm and Sim 17, but it's not got all the things I like yet. I don't think it's got Kernstar in it. And a lot of the mods that I use, I'm used to, I don't think they're available. So that's why I've not switched to 17 just yet. So I'm just going to stay on 15, and I've had this, um, well not this save file, but I've had this, oh, this particular setup for well over a year, a year and a half at least I would say, and I've been on this host for a good while now. The thing is about this host, what I quite like about it, is with the previous host, um, every so often, uh, say I had all this setup like this, every so often the server would look, go down and I would have to like, restart it via the farming sim panel and every time I'd done that there was a 50% chance it would reset everything and I would lose it all uh, or it would just randomly just disappear for no reason whatsoever and I was pretty annoyed plus that was on easy mode as well this is on normal mode, so prices aren't as high as they were. So, um, yeah, this is a much better host. I've not, ha I've only had one reset of everything, which was right at the start. I was expecting it. But so far, I've re it's I've had to restart the server a few times, and so far when I've came back on, everything's where it should be. So I'm glad that I've not lost anything yet. And I'm, I'll be honest, a few times I thought, you know, that them, yeah, everything's gone, and then I log in, and it's all still there, which is awesome. And I've set it to save every hour, so I think it's like 10 past the hour, it saves automatically. So if I do have to like restart the server, it'll go back to the previous hour. So that's pretty handy. So now that this has got the salt, sugar and water, and I think I've got, yeah, I've got wheat in there, so that should turn into wheat alright um, sorry about that I had to go and check my door good thing about the, this headset is I can walk about <laughs> oh, not connected to any wires I still take it off the odd time anyway right so that's nearly empty how are we for corn? He's still working away. How much has he got? I might actually fill this up because that's going to be... Mm, it's not massive. But I'm going to fill it up anyway. Oh, there's a bit of play to put in here. It's only 815. Saves you having to go. All the way back to the farm just to fill it up. So this tractor here, it's one of the mods that I've had and I've never really used it. I'm used to the, you know, the articulated one that turns. But I don't know about this one. It's cheaper than that, or is it cheaper? I can't remember. Hold on. Um, let's see. 
is going in my tractors. So it's this one that I'm using, that is cheaper. It's, it's more expensive to run though, I think. Yeah, that one's more expensive. No, it's not. It's, uh, that's the one I usually use. But if you look at the horsepower, it's actually got more horsepower. Well, slightly less horsepower considering how much more expensive it is. I've got a lot of John Deere tractors, a lot of them. I think it was a John Deere pack or something that I got. Uh, that was the thing that you probably just saw. Uh, that thing. Uh, we'll run through that in a few minutes. You know what that is. It's a big uh, liquid manure spreader. We'll be using that in a few minutes to go and fix that field. Um, you're probably wondering why I've got so much space here. This was not intentional. It was supposed to only go to about just beyond that tree. So say about probably quicker wrong. It was only supposed to go about here or something with the grass, so that the combings and that wouldn't hit the trees or the signs. But uh, I fell asleep. I fell asleep when it was seeding, and when I woke up, it was pretty much all the way down to there. Yeah. So, well, I'm either going to leave it like that because it's probably just going to get the same amount as it would have usually, or I'll get my cultivator out and well, not the cultivator, the plough, and plough some of the field back so I can get some more uh, value out of the field. Because this was all potatoes, this field, uh, field 31 was uh, potatoes, four, uh, 13 was corn, which it came with corn, that's why I'm harvesting that now. 21 was uh, barley, but I'm changing that to wheat, that's going to be combined with 20, so 20 and 21 are going to be wheat. Uh, 22 and 23 are combined already and they have got barley growing on them at the moment and I've already, I've already sprayed that one with the manure uh, which you can see right there actually that's the one we just done so this is filled up uh, I'm going to just unfold this now so it's ready The problem with the sprayers is you can't employ people on them, so I'm going to need to do that myself. Course play doesn't work on this. There was a multiplayer version, but it was for the previous version, so if I try to load it up, it just crashes the game pretty much. Uh, so you're f empty. We'll take you back in. So we'll wait and see if that, that should eventually start producing as well. So corn is going to be split between the one at the end, the ve the vegetable one, that's going to be sweet corn and it's going to be split with the corn bread. Uh, barley is between, uh, hold on, I'm going to put this trailer back first. Barley is going to split between the alcohol one, which we just worked on, and that's going to be with the bread as well, and I can't remember, is it wheat? Yeah, I think wheat is the other one, but I don't think that splits with anything, so whatever wheat we get can just go straight into the flour, so we'll let that fill up. Uh, we'll go over here. Right, so I think we can get closer. That'll be closer. Right, so that's salt in there. So that's the alcohol 
Can I actually climb up? Almost. <laughs> uh, so this is the one that's going to have wheat, corn and barley in it. As you can see, we've already got some wheat in it. We've got water, sugar and salt, so that should eventually turn into bread. And then we'll bring, it on, bring over the, the, the uh, barley and the corn, which will turn into rye and white bread. No, yeah, corn bread. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this one... I'm pretty sure that will eventually start working. So it's got everything it needs. So that should eventually start working. As I said, I don't know why this one... Nothing seems to be able to pick it up. And even at that, I don't know why it's not produced anything in the middle. They should be 100%. And they've all stopped. At 95. Well, this one's done. I don't know. Plenty of sugar anyway. It's got over like a million or something sugar. So that will just keep working. Um, so the corn's going to go in here. And it's going to go into this hen trailer, which is why it's empty, because there's nothing in it yet. And the chilies and tomatoes and what have yours still going. So make sure that's got plenty of things. Yep. Okay, so that's going to work away. How are the animals looking? Uh, there's two. Beef. Pick up those. See, we don't really have that many. I might just up the animals to 200. I've got the money for it. They're not exactly expensive. They're one dollar a day. I can afford that. And they'll cost about 50, so... Might as well put these up a bit, maybe a bit. 300 or something. We'll see how many I get to and then stop. We'll see. Five. So we're going on an animal spending spree here. Just buy a whole load of these. And then we'll fill the, uh, the food up and that. Fatten them up. And then we'll get back to looking for the fields, make sure they're all working okay. That's the same. Hmm. Pig and beef costs more than chicken, less than chickens. Surprised about that. Same maintenance, so I think they're about the same one dollar a euro a day. Might go for more sheep though. So I'm not really getting much wool. I'm throw it out there worth it, it should be alright. <laughs> right, so I've added more of them, which will mean we'll probably need to up all that. Now you see they've got the food and that's went down. <laughs> okay, so what we could do is the
next one that one just use this I think you can mix between potato and sugar because I think it's potato it's actually in there but we should be able to mix them just as their fruit How's the corn? It's nearly done. And I'm going to need a truck to pick up the corn and bring it down. Probably need to fill it up with milk as well. No milk water. Oh, you can mix them. Okay. That's good to know. Think it's that one that pings you if you're sitting in it. Alright, so that's full. And I don't know why I'm going that way. That's a dead end. Well, that's not because you can go through here. Let me need straw in here. Need food as well. Oh. So we'll pop this back. I think later on I'll buy more cows and sheep and that. Just get a bit more. There's no point in getting any more chickens because the limit's 500 eggs that you can store. So 500 chickens should get you about 500 a day. So there's no point in getting any more of them. So if you do get more, you'll be going back to the back and forth to the shop a lot. <laughs> the eggs. Or you just pick them up and take them away at a certain like, at the end of the week. Just take them all over and get a whole load of money. Right, so he's going to be there. Right, so this is for the corn. I'll go and empty that trailer because that, that harvester I might be getting full. And we'll put some into the machines to get them moving. Where are you? Bet she's coming down the way. No, he's not. Okay. See anywhere near full? No. Is that you? 300? Okay, so what's that about? 150 each? That sounds like a decent amount for them. So I would say... Mm, I think once fertilised that may produce a bit... A mill. Maybe. So, I don't know, we'll see. But we've got enough to get the, the two factories going anyway. And while they're doing that, we'll uh, get the animals fed, get some more water and stuff into them so that they can actually keep going. Right, so there's one behind here. It's not going to stop in time. Corn. Oh, yeah, forgot. <laughs> it's not the actual. Uh, round. Uh, no, this way. Forgot that th takes actual corn flour. So I need to put it through this windmill thing first. That will take it and turn it into corn flour. Then we'll bring that back over later once it's processed. 
and the rest of this can go into the I don't care if I'm not to unload all of it, that'll do it. I would have honked a little bit more, but that'll be fine. Right, so that'll turn that into flower, which we can then take over there. But the rest of this is going into the faraway factory. And it'll turn it into sweet corn. Okay, so that will turn that into sweet corn, which is fine. We'll go and pop this back up there, so there's no nowhere it's to go. I shall put it up there, right? No, leave it here. Let's see how it's getting on anyway. Well, he's going to be a while. He's actually been going for ages. Uh, what I want to do now... Oh, it's still filling up, but we should have enough to... fill... these tanks up anyway. Should probably go the other way because of that trailer. Should probably move that when I'm not picking the animals up. So, obviously because we've added more animals, it will require more uh, water. So it used to zoom up pretty quick, but because I've got more animals in it, it's going to take a little bit longer to go up. So we'll fill that up. Um, let's think. Do animals take canola? Because that's the only thing that I'm actually growing which doesn't require the harv the factories. I don't know. They might. I'll see once I've harvested it, I'll try and drop it in there and see what it says. That should be an outfill. So we'll take this in here. We can watch the water go up. To, what is that, 27,000? That's a lot. <laughs> Manure's full. But we can empty that out with a JCV. Great, I just says green, so I don't know if that would include canola. Uh, productivity is up, so that's good. It's got plenty of mixed rations in that anyway. But I'll bring some in and see if it takes that. I think it will, because it's got a lot more animals. We need to get straw as well. And hey. So I'm going to park this. Let it fill up. I've got so many animals around here. <laughs> you can hear them all. Right, so that's going to fill up. Of course, that's what that tractor was for. It was for the. Uh, I've only got a vehicle that I can just. Maybe the sugar beet tr truck then. Right, congratulations, you're promoted. <laughs> I know it can haul it because I've hauled it before. The silage might be a pain in the ass, so I might not bother with that and just give it grass. But we should be able to pick these up. Right, 
I, I don't know if I should give the... How is the case for straw? I've got plenty of straw. What about you? Straw. Now you've not got much. So we'll give these animals some more straw. They've not got much. Should need another vehicle around here to pick up the uh, bales. Uh, well, but it should be alright. Not bales, <laughs> pallets. I will. Let's we'll drop that. Definitely get rid of that stuff. Just need a JCB and we can scoop all that up. I think money's run right down, so <laughs> we're not going to be able to. I don't have a tractor that can have a front loader. Mm. I'll just stick the rest of the straw and with the cows. I think they've got plenty, but we'll fill them up anyway. Uh, straw, that's my. Oh! Because this is the sort of stuff I need to do every day on this farm to keep everything running. Might give that some sugar a bit actually, because I've got a lot. Most of this will probably go in there. I'll take most of it. And if we park, I think it's about here. We can offload sugar beet into that. And that'll turn that into mixed rations. And gives it something to do. So we'll drop this back off here and then we'll take the grass and see if it needs anything. Let's see you go back in here. You're going to fill up. Bitty, 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 bitty. almost full, but it's been going for about a week. <laughs> Drop the grass in there, it wasn't much, but at least it's full. I'll take some in here. Yeah, 
this should take a bit. There we go. Some more food for you. View some food. We'll take it round to the cows and then we'll go down with the mixed ration drill and see what needs done. Let's not get the best of breaks this thing. That's why you need to sort of break in advance. Right, mixed ration. I don't need to take that in there. Oh, okay, it's fine. I've got plenty of food. extra weight on the trailer helps with the braking a bit. So it breaks a bit better with the trailer. I'll fill that up. Ooh, Quite a bit of mixed ration. That should be there for a while. Let's see the. So they got a decent amount now. So what am I going to do next? Um, try to think. What can I do next? Probably just go back to the liquid manure. There's nothing I can do until that corn thing's done. Although I could probably put the cedar on it now, because since it's on the other side. Well, I'll see. I'll have a look. See if it's far enough, and then I can put that on. No, that's a terrible parting job. Right, 
I'll do it, leave that there. I'll put this back here. You've done your job, well done. Since I think the trailer helps it with the brakes, it seems to be a bit harder when it's on its own. Makes me think. Right, um, see how the combine's getting on. Uh, I don't know. From there, I think I'll put it on. If it gets stuck behind it, I'll k stop it for a minute or two. But that should be fine. Just need to move this out of the way. Might as well just leave it down here because the combine's coming down here anyway. So I'm going to go back to this and this will probably take me another couple of hours to do all this because I've got this field, 31, which is well, it's about three quarters of the size of the, what you actually see there because most of it's grass. And then I've got fields 20 and 21 to do and then of course once uh, 13's done I need to go up there as well. I didn't, I'm just trying to get like, rid of the manure out of the back of it. And then I'll sell this one and go and go and get another one which I know can be driven by a worker because it's a lot of work these things. So until next time, do take care. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this farming sim set setup. Um it's not passworded or anything like that, but it does require certain mods. Coming up soon I will um be opening well, when I say opening it I mean I'll have like a forum and um, well, this is the thing, if you remember a while ago, oh, I may as well tell you that now, since it was, it's not going to happen just yet. But if you remember a while ago, I put the intro back on. The reason for that was because um, I was going to bring out different servers and stuff. And um, basically, uh, what happened is... Well, the forum's still getting worked on, I'm working on it myself, and I'm going to have like a, a Dropbox set up for the server, the farm sim server, and I'm going to have all the files from the server on Dropbox, so if I do like, add anything new or take anything off it, it will automatically update, so... Once that's all set up, um, I'll have like a Dropbox that you can join. You can get. A, I can't remember how they work, but I know if you, if it's like a business version or something, you can like send out links, or I can post the link on a forum. You can click on it. You can add it, and it will automatically download the necessary mods to you, and. Uh, I might as well start doing this now. Um, you'll receive the files and then you can come on um, help yourself. You've s seen what I've been doing. It's pretty fun. There's a lot to do on it each day so I'm planning on getting m all, most of the fields done. Uh, it's going to take a long time, well, because with the other, my previous f uh, server that I had, it was, well, the save, I should say, uh, I had all the fields, but I didn't do them legit legitly. Uh, it was pretty obvious. Uh, all the fields that I've bought in this one, I have earned them myself through factory work, uh, crop selling. It took 
about two weeks before I could get my first factory. I wanted to build up uh, a certain, a good amount of money because I knew I should probably go lengthways actually here. Yeah, I'll go the lengthways. Um, uh, build up a good amount of money so that if it did reset, then I could at least be able to buy uh, like a harvester, uh, cedar and stuff. But there's not been really any need for that because it's not crashed. Well, as I say, it reset once at the start, so I had a, a million or something, so I could build, uh, could buy like, a couple of things. So if necessary, it was quite easy to get it all. So I don't know how long this was probably going to take. I don't know, half an hour this one and that other one, uh, 21 and 20 is probably going to be the same and it looks like the cedar up there has got stuck on a tree I'm going to need to uh, earn money and get the logging thing I'll show you, hold on let me just turn the spare off take about half a minute to stop I'm going to buy um, where are you? Forrester I'm going to buy this later on. Basically, it grinds down like, trees, so it's really handy if you want to get rid of trees that are around the outside of the fields. And you can just instantly turn them into wood chips, and then you can go and sell the wood chips or store them for later on. So that's going to be it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later on. Do take care. Goodbye.